So what's that furry thing actually do then? It's a sound. Yeah. yeah. It's a microphone. Oh, yeah. Can you randomly get it in the shot, like stick it in one of our faces? <laughs> 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 with one other person in this room. Who would it be? Yeah, no, Scott, you'd all be with me, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because I'm like Bear Grylls. <laughs> no, like, personally, no, you'd, 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 no, you'd be you way more to eat if I ate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Clients, customers um, that walk through the door, anyone that walks through the door is classed as a friend. And they're walking into our home, you know, it's our business. Not every barbershop is the same. It is like a social club, it's how social clubs used to be. You know, they're, they're a person as well, they've they got a story to tell, everyone's got a story to tell, whether, you know, even the ones that might be a little bit quiet at times in the chair, it's almost like being a counsellor sometimes, you know. And it's somewhere where a man can come and just feel just feel good for an hour. Over the years of obviously, um, you know, being in barber and you build, you gain more, you get to know more techniques and you evolve as a barber. Yeah, I mean, all the styles now that are going on now were like the 50s cut, the 40s cut, you know. So it's, everything sort of swings and roundabouts. The styles that people think are current and new now were current and new back in the 40s, back in the 50s, you know. It is that sort of modern gentleman that's coming in, you know, people that before would just ask for it short, easy, get in and out, and now wanting a cut where they can do something with it, you know? And then who would you least like to be? Matt. Me. Matt, because <laughs> uh, nah, he says everything twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't ever get anything done. least twice. No, I don't, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you lose the track of the day, so yeah. you just repeat yourself all the time. I do repeat seven, myself seven, a lot, seven. repeat myself a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've known barbers over the years that weren't particularly the strongest barbers, but socially, uh, you know, co a conversation with their customer in the chair would be pulling that customer back every time. The amount of gents that we have come in had their cut, you know, all finished off, and, and they'd sort of hang around for the hour, just like the environment, you know. <laughs> Cracking goal though. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone's heard this story. Yeah. Right? Here we go. Basically, do you want to hear the story? Go on. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, go for it. They crossed it. Defenders headed out. I'm still about 18, no, halfway line. <laughs> <laughs> Our own 18 yard box. It's not back there. <laughs> and I just crunched it, top right corner. Ran off about a mile like that. All the way. Just running. All the way <laughs> Mum and Dad weren't there though. <laughs> 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 Me. Glenn and Wayne, we've known each other for years. And I think people, you know, they do come back for the banter. Don't get me wrong, it is about the cut. But if you can get that environment where, you know, a random guy that doesn't know us can sit there, but he will laugh along with us, that's key. Yeah, there's definitely a, a great bond with our, with our customers as a whole. You know, I've been out on functions with customers 
over the years and you know I would go out drinking with a few customers or most of my customers. It's a sea of love that I'm drowning in. Well, you don't know. I'll make it clear. You got someone who loves you dear. I know you're scared. I feel love. But I'm here to make your heart rise above. Let you see. Let you see. It was that shop where we would all sat there. We haven't said one word to each other from the moment the guy walked in until the moment he walked out. It doesn't create you know, that little thought in your head, but think, I'm going to go back there, that was great. That was a real good laugh, you know? So I think the environment of the place, yeah, that is most important, I think, definitely. I've actually made some great fr friendships over the years from having the customers coming into the shop. Don't get me wrong, we all have the odd day where we're all feeling pretty down, but the rest of the guys will sort of bring us back up and bring us back on par, like, you know, and then the banter starts again and everyone starts taking the piss out of Matt again. That's normally the way. Who actually cuts each other's hair? George. Well, yeah. We all just take turns, really. Glenn does no one because he's lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know one. Matt does yeah, no one. Yeah, Matt does. 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 Matt totally be themselves. I believe it's probably one of the only places you can come as a gent and be quite honest. <laughs>